<laughs> Yo, what up, Street Talks here, Kim. All right, the thought. How to conquer photography. So, okay. So the big problem in photography is that almost all the photographers I know lack self-esteem, right? Um, and effectively, everyone wants to become Henri Cartier-Bresson. But what if, uh, actually, in fact, even Henri Cartier-Bresson wouldn't want to become himself. So for example, um, it's my personal theory that the reason why Henri Cartier-Bresson gave up photography was he had major penis envy of his other artist, painter, sculptor friends. Um, you know, if you look at his portrait series, <laughs> he was pretty much like buddy-buddy with all the famous painters of the time. He photographed and interacted with all of them. Uh, there's a nice picture of him photographing Balthus in his uh, later days. And uh, um, Alberto Giacometti. Whoa, mega dormingi, don't you I think Seneca's middle name should be The Rock because he likes to throw on rocks. Yeah, get you my tongue, right? He'll be even buffer and jackter than Dwayne The Rock Johnson without the, the steroids. But anyways, so to conquer photography means to first kill Henri Cartier-Bresson in the metaphorical sense because he himself, um, like, his passion was actually painting, drawing, and he just picked up photography kind of like a side hobby. And unfortunately, or fortunately enough, he almost became too good at photography and um, he really wanted to become a surrealist, right? But it was Robert Kappa, his, um, his best friend, who said, don't call yourself a surrealist or else other people aren't gonna take you seriously. Call yourself instead like, um, like a reporter, reportage, documentary photographer. And so I think the, the whole time too, even when Henri Cartier-Bresson was still alive, right? He almost, he was kind of like Michael Jordan. He kind of became like a ghost of his own legacy while he was still alive, where, you know, even when he was alive, you know, everyone would want to, you know, get the, the jumping man puddle photo, right? And the Henri Cartier-Bresson himself was like kind of sick of the photo, right? He's like, oh, why don't, why don't people buy my other photos which are way better, right? But alas, you know, the that's like the success trap is once you become successful, um, <laughs> you become captivated or you become captured by your own audience, your own past self and yourself because you want to continue to emulate that success. So the real radical interesting people, the creatives are the ones who do like kind of this like reckless innovation where you're you're not afraid to radically, um, you know, piss off your audience. Yeah, good you my tongue. Yeah, good you my tongue. Oh, don't you don't you here. Hana, do, don't. Yeah, um, just some. Okay, about the hike. Hana, do, set, honey, papa, set. Yeah, box. Good all left. Whoa! Cha! High five. Um. So, anyways, yeah. So, and even you know, you think about all the Magnum photographers. They essentially were all, you know, living in the ghost of the shadows of uh, famous photographers. Even now, like, even though you know, I gotten so much inspiration from the Magnum photographers. I think. Put you my tongue. My personal thought now is that like Magnum and Magnum photographers. Oh, put you my tongue. Essentially, it's kind of like a relic of the past. And in actuality, if we want to evolve and to reach interesting, uncharted Kuchimaitong territories in photography, we need to, I mean, suppose like ignore or disregard them. So for example, um, I think the, the most pernicious trend in photography, street photography was essentially everyone's trying to become Alex Webb, right? But even, oh, Gucci my tongue, Tanjaba. Even Alex Webb of today, right? Like, if he was really intelligent, he would try to innovate in more interesting ways. But now, you know, he's famous for his suffering of light, his color, um, film, slide pictures. Yo, Tanjaba. Hey, <laughs> Vaksu. So you know everyone's trying to 
Yeah. You look at uh, Alex Webb's new recent work, right? His color digital work. He's shooting on some sort of up up sale. I think he's shooting on like a, some sort of digital like M camera. Like the photos just like aesthetically they don't look as nice because they're shot on digital, not color, uh, not color of slide film. And B, like I mean, I don't know Alex Webb in person, but Gucci might don't. I could imagine. I don't know, like, Alex, he should start shooting black and white or something, or use a flash, or, you know, yeah, use a telephoto lens, or do something different, like, for him to keep just kind of, like, imitating what he's done his whole life, seems a little bit boring, like, even actually, um, you know, like, Martin Parr, right, like, he's been doing his whole aesthetic thing for so long, I think it would be more interesting if he just kind of switched it up, right, so I think that any photographer to switch up their aesthetic and their style every once in a while is kind of a good idea, good you might do, don't you yeah and i think the reason why i'm so inspired by uh, kanye west is that you know he he's not afraid to skate on the paradigm and switch it when he feels like which means you know he has popularized the all black everything kind of more like goth look right and then like he comes up to one of his music things um wearing like a random tie-dye hyper green sweatshirt right um uh -huh. Good to my and even um yoji yamamoto right why why three why 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 you know it's famous or like alexander wang alexander wang like you know just black and white i'm gonna like be more interesting if they just like broke out of their aesthetic and just used uh, more color right but i think the problem is myself included once you've kind of like pigeonholed yourself within a certain aesthetic and you become a scarecrow and you don't allow yourself to evolve it's kind of like creative death so for example you'll notice that i'm wearing this hyper high vis orange it's like a random like a6 okay 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 Oops, you know it? Can't tell. Okay. Um. Go, Yipuji. Oh, Yuba. Go, Munjara. Appa. You got a ladybug here, yo. Boyo? Ladybug? Nyu, nyu, nyu. Okay. Hehe, thank you, Bob. Hehe. Parkour. Give you booty wear. Yeah. so you 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 okay what you do um so yeah, so essentially, uh, you know, all black everything, and now I'm wearing hyper viz orange color, and I I really quite like it. Um, <laughs> Mega door mini. Um, so yeah, don't don't become a scarecrow. Like uh, even uh, Steve Jobs, infamous for his um, Issey Miyake black turtleneck and uh, blue jeans you know he did it, i think mostly for pragmatic reasons maybe part of sake but whatever but one should not feel constrained to once find a theory propose a theory and stick to it forever so for example like even if you're smart right like imagine you're like a super crazy mac fanboy or whatever right 
if you actually did find a Google Pixel camera phone, whatever, that was actually in your mind superior to an iPhone, you should totally get it and switch. Or, you know, if you're really smart, just, just have two phones. That's what people in Asia do, right? Is the, the, the best ideal is technically to have both an Android phone and an iPhone. Toto. Toto Burae? Shira? Okay. Rimul. Um, and oh yeah, just keep updated. I might do a Hadon creative retreat, photography workshop retreat um, sometime uh, in the summer next year. I think, I'm thinking like August 1st to August 5th, 2023. So just, you know, just Google Air Cam workshops or Air Cam um, Hadon workshop and then uh, register intent. Um, there's like a Google form I put there, but anyways. Um, and yeah, so yeah, it's just, Um, um, so anyways, back to photography, right? So allow yourself also to, to shoot, just like shoot nature, right? Like even right now, got the Ricoh GR3X camera. Don't just feel like constrained to just have to photograph, you know, street photography or a certain small niche. Allow yourself to photograph everything. So even for myself, right? Like Air Kim street photography, right? That's that's what I'm known for, right? Good to my tone. But I think I'm quite glad that I've had the courage to break on beyond that and just do other random stuff in video, like 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 doing my workout videos and deadlifting and hype lifting and stuff like that. Um, because it communicates to other people that you are in fact a full stack individual, a full stack personality, and you do more than one thing. So for example, like,